funny you mention all that stuff about how maybe sometimes you might take something too far. There's a because that yeah. comedians. This is this is the thing. Well, I've I've learned when watching other comedians. Like I I I'm only 24, but my dad showed me, for example, like uh, Rob Robin Williams, Jim Carrey, uh, Rodney Dangerfield is one of my favorites. And um, you know, there's always Good. this fear about like being canceled. You know, and I think sure. nowadays, I think a lot of comedians. You look at like Chris Rock with the Will Smith thing. It's like that yeah. whole thing. He was scared to like. It's like we can't even say stuff anymore without being afraid something's gonna happen. Even with um, mm-hmm. uh, Dave Chappelle, you know, and then yeah. the, the, the fan that tried to attack him on stage. So I don't know. Like, do you ever get these fears one day that like you may say something and it's gonna just affect you, or do you kind of just not let that affect your art because it is an art comedy, right? Yeah. Uh... You, 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 you know, it's this weird thing because I I feel like people are talking about comedians getting canceled and can you say what you want to say? Can you have that opportunity? Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of this where uh, I'm I, it's like, yes, cancel culture is kind of a thing. I think comedians overall are safe. I think the people that will cancel a comedian we're never going to consume that comedian's product uh at all i think the i i think the most important thing is that you're just authentic you are who you are um if you're a completely clean cut christian comedian and then you get caught saying something that's not along those lines that might cancel you from that particular audience then you watch like a, a, a Jim Norton show or a Shane Gillis show and they're saying things that are crazy but at the same time that's who they are that's that's who they are that's the jokes they write that's the personality and they do it so well um so it's a weird thing where I'm not I'm not saying cancel culture doesn't exist but I think comedians are pretty good like we're pretty safe I I, I think we're always going to have a market um now you might get canceled from a corporate job because they have stockholders and they have like uh, they they have people that they kind of have to answer to but in terms of just your stand up uh i i i think comedians overall are pretty safe what the, the one thing that people have to realize with comics in terms of are they going too far is like oh that joke was over the line we don't know where the line is and People are like, oh, you should have known. It's like, we don't. We have no idea where the line is. So I think as long as the joke is being told in the terms of it is a joke, we are making the attempt at entertaining you. I think the comedian has to be given a little bit uh, more slack on more slack on the leash. I'm not saying that we can just say anything and have no consequences whatsoever. I'm just saying that what was the intent? If the intent was to entertain, was to make a joke, uh, then I think that should be taken uh, and viewed differently than, let's say, um, Anderson Cooper or a, a newsman. If, uh, if if a news person says something, if Tucker Carlson says something, or if Anderson Cooper says something, well, then that should be taken differently than how a comedian says something, because our intent is to entertain, is to titillate. Is to, is to make you think, is to go right up to that line, maybe dance a little over it, but then come back and let you know that it was all for the sake of entertaining you. And the wonderful part about comedy is that if you find a comedian that is telling jokes that you don't like, that go over the line, fine. There's a lot of other comedians out there. If you don't like me, you can watch Jim Gaffigan, you can watch Brian Regan, who are brilliant comedians, and you will enjoy their thing just because just because we don't say something or we say something that you don't like doesn't mean we should not be allowed to exist. And I think a lot I, I think people are understanding that now. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was a very long way of saying I am true to the art. If I think it, if I believe it um, and I think it's funny, I will say it now. The audience will tell me ultimately what is funny and what is not i've tried jokes that i thought were funny that the audience came back to me and said no it is not funny and and then i go okay and then i stop so that is to me that's 
what keeps me in line in terms of what I'm allowed to say is does the audience find it funny? And if they do, great. My ba- my favorite thing is when some clip of a comedian will be online just killing, just where the audience is just going nuts. And then someone in the comments writes, this isn't funny at all. It's like, well, you're wrong. You're wrong. because There's a room full of people laughing. Now, if the person was doing the jokes and no one in the audience was laughing, correct. It is not funny. But if a, a room, a theater, some of these comedians, a stadium is laughing, you can't say it's not funny. You can't. Thank you.